In the year 2024, humanity found itself in a dire situation. One third of the Earth's livable land was barren desert. Mass unsustainable agriculture, mining operations, and an ever increasing rate in use of fossil fuels had led to shortages in clean air and water worldwide. These shortages led to massive diasporas of billions of refugees seeking a place to survive. On top of this, a decline in biodiversity had left many of the world's plant and animal species vulnerable to extinction due to disease. Even humanity was feeling the weight of loss through experiencing the many epidemics rising up across the earth. Compounding all of this, many nations were in political turmoil, with party divides creating near civil war-like conditions within nations. However, even in the midst of madness, there was still hope. In a last-ditch effort to unite as a people, humans from across the globe came together to form an alliance with the goal of finding solutions to all of the issues humanity was facing. They first considered trying to escape the Earth, but quickly realized that there was no hope of colonizing another planet. There were far too many people on the Earth and far too few resources to support human life in the feasible places to travel to. Instead, through the study of biology, the self-proclaimed Hope Alliance recognized the healing power of the Earth's natural systems. What they didn't know, however, is what humanity could do to solve the conflicts within their species while also becoming a positive force that could help heal the planet. They needed guidance and inspiration. Although space travel of the masses was not feasible, technological developments had led to the creation of ultra-efficient, single-passenger spacecrafts that could safely maintain supersonic speeds. The Hope Alliance sent a fleet of 40 ships out into the far reaches of space in hopes of finding a planet with intelligent life that could help humanity be a part of that healing process. Due to the nature of the launch process that could not be recreated on other planets, the ships were on a one-way mission with no hope of returning. Now, in the year 2031, only one pilot remains, Major Tom, on his ship, the Hope Cruiser 11. Today is the day that Major Tom will make an attempt to enter the atmosphere of an Earth-like planet. This is an odyssey toward the good life, part one. Major Tom. Major Tom, this is ground control. This is Major Tom reading you loud and clear. <laughs> Boy, is it good to see your faces. It's been a while. How are you guys doing? How are the families? We're doing just fine down here, Tom. Uh, Celia's just learning to read. Uh, she's great at it. She doesn't have the passion for learning that I did when I was younger, but uh, with everything virtual nowadays, it's so hard to get that human-to-human -human connection, you know? Man, I can't even imagine what that would be like, but no doubt she'll turn out great with a father like you, Bill. Do you have a status report for us? Everything's going right on schedule. It's uh, it's looking pretty good. About, uh, about four minutes until we enter the atmosphere. You're really a hero, Tom. A daily inspiration to all of us. I'm, I'm no hero. I'm just doing what I have to. But Major Tom, how did you know where this planet was? Oh, it wasn't me who knew how to get there. My spaceship knew which way to go. Hey, Tom, you... Uh... T what are you... Uh... Okay, uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let you go. I'll, I'll, I'll see ya. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> You're about to enter the atmosphere and uh, we might lose connection, so is there anything that we can do to calm your nerves a bit? There actually is one thing that I'd really love to share. Uh, I've, I've had some thoughts recently and wrote up a little poem about, about some of the stuff going on back home. I don't know if it's still relevant, but some emotions and, and some ideas I'd love to get off my chest. Would you mind if I share it with you guys? Absolutely, Tom. We would love to hear. I never thought I'd go this far, this far, this far. 
I've been letting go of my heart, my heart, my heart. I never thought it'd go this far, this far, this far. I've been letting go of my heart, my heart, my heart. Hey, hey, hey. Who am I seeing? I see in the dark. I'm busy bleeding, bleeding from the heart. I'm just an actor, I follow my arc. This is the story when things fall apart. I know the glory that comes from victory is too often gory. I just check his story. I'm no historian, but my DeLorean show me that the rich man come out victorious. Uh. But what's victorious? Blinded by the story of what glory is Oh no, this is poisonous Now I realize that they don't know what victory is Uh, but what's victorious? Blinded by the story of what glory is Oh no, this is poisonous Now I realize that they don't know what victory is I miss the days in the sun I miss the days that were long When we all sang along Felt so in tune I miss the moon Late evening loving on you Now it's all gone Innocent stripped from our palms Lungs of earth burning they palm This ain't a song This just the weight that be on The shoulders of us who see wrongs I'm about to blow it this right here, this is a token Time that we learn to shift focus Time that we grow out the bogus All of the lies that they told us The media wizards that go hocus pocus Borders to knowledge keep others below us Price of the college that we use to show us Who best follows orders from all those above us Ridiculous games that keep all them above us it's not time to demolish Time to show these fools where the gosh darn heart is Lots of folks been moving heartless Dudes like Donald J. Trump who need love the hardest Crying out for help, well they speak the hardest Never taught how to love, only taught how to spot targets How to find weak spots and take them out regardless Of anything besides the bottom line that now hangs above us Money turned to God, man turned to slave Man commits fraud, but buys up the cage Man gets to choose, who gets locked away does all that he can to keep the others in their place Why? Cause he's afraid Terrified of the God that he made Spends every day in an anxious state Doing whatever the money say No, he's not in the cage No, he's not locked away But he's consumed every day And he has no escape He might seem like he's free But it's all a charade all he'll ever be to the money is a slave. A slave. A slave. Major Tom, can you hear us? Major Tom, are you?